In this video, I'm going to teach you my favorite little coverage defense that will absolutely bag the majority of what people like to do out of the Y off trips pads. Now, I'm the first one to say that the Y off trips pads to me is one of the most difficult formations to guard. And the reason why is because you can easily create a, uh, a strong side to the weak side. You can use motions, really good seam wheels and posts, uh, routes that exist within this formation. And so uh, I want to take my stab here at showing you some coverage that I think you can utilize uh, actually at a really high level. We're going to be leveraging the fact that three-man rushes are really good in this year's game. I believe that Madden has consistently made them better as the year has gone on. And so we're going to kind of base out of a three-man rush. But with that in mind, uh, let's jump into this. Now, we're talking about the 3-3-5 odd out of the Baltimore playbook. Now, the 3-3-5 odd is the first defense of ebook that I've released this year. And I have to tell you that it is still the best defense. I found this back in August. And to be honest with you, it has stood the test of time this year. Everything that I've studied and all the film that I've watched, and as I study the game more and more, I really fall back in love with this defense. So I wanted to share this with you. If you want to learn my entire 335 odd defense, I would encourage you to join the Patreon membership. By joining the Patreon, you get an instant access to every ebook that I have in Madden 22. So far, we have 13 offensive and defensive guides that you will be able to immediately get access to the 335 odd being one of them so uh, i'm just going to come out and tight end whip and set up some route combinations out of this but the coverage we're going to use is cover six now cover six for my money is the best coverage in the game i really like it um there's a lot you can do with adjustments uh, and i just really think that this is the best defense in this game so the way that we're going to set this up um, is we are going to actually turn our cover six into a cover four. So we're going to outside quarter the left of screen outside uh, cornerback. We're going to inside quarter the left of screen safety, as you can see right there. We're going to spread our defensive line. I personally would, ad would advise to go ahead and crash your defensive line up. So it, see, it looks kind of like this. And then really, really important, what I like to do is purple zone the uh, or curl flat zone the left of screen, uh, the left of screen outside linebacker. So you see him going into that zone. Now, the only other thing that I wanted to tell you is I like to user this guy Thompson. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually go ahead. Uh, whoops, I apologize. I told you wrong. I'm going to man up Thompson on the tight end. And then I'm going to use her Williams on a blitz right over the center. And what I like to do is bluff blitz the defensive end on the right side of the screen. And then what I like to do is you can kind of play some chess. Um, if you want to, you can be this left side flat defender. But what I like to do is I actually like to go ahead and take that outside uh, linebacker and put him into a seam flat. And you're going to see here that this defense is going to uh, play pretty effective against a lot of the combinations that you have in this formation. So uh, the first one is going to be tied and whip. I'm just going to set it up like this. And I want you to watch how the coverage plays. What you're going to see here is we're going to open to this side. If we see a post from left to right, we're going to carry that. And as you can see, we're able to pretty much defend one of the best money plays uh, in the game this year. Now, uh, how this is going to continue to work out, what you're going to notice here uh, is we're going to, you know, consistently kind of drop this coverage on this right side here. If you want to leave this coverage that I have on the left side, you can. You don't have to put the quarter zones and the purple zone and all that. You don't have to do that. I do like to do that if they're doing a lot of motion uh, from right to left. But I'll show you something uh, that you can also do. So another popular setup is this. This is essentially a flood to the uh, the solo side. And so what they're gonna do is they're gonna motion this corner route uh, to the left side. The reason that I like this uh, defense whenever they get into those situations is you're gonna see how this defends uh, the flooding combination. So again, we're gonna be right in here. I'm gonna motion Godwin to this side. And again, you're already naturally opening this way anyway, but in a situation, take a look at how good that match defense does against that in particular uh, combination and concept. Very, very good against corner routes and flooding combinations. Um, another concept that you're going to see consistently uh, is this Y option wheel, seam wheel. I'm gonna actually put a crosser there. I think this is one of the better ways to run this play. Uh, so we're gonna show you something that you can really do, a little a secret little adjustment that you can do. Um, and what we're gonna do 
is instead of putting the three rec uh, to the defensive lineman, uh, what we're going to do now is instead of dropping that left of, or that right of screen lineman, we're going to drop the, the running back side lineman. And so you're going to see it looks like this right here. And I want you to watch this seam flat and this three rec go to work against this route combo. What you're going to see is that that seam wheel, which is the most popular route from this formation, is no longer able to be thrown. We still have that tight end manned up on the backside. What I would tell you is if you're going to go with a combination or a zone coverage that looks like that, again, make sure that they're motioning. I find that it's best if they're motioning for that to happen. But if they are, uh, what you want to do on this backside is you want to open up to the tight end side now because you've got phenomenal uh, coverage on this other side. So let me show you another way that they could run Y option wheel. It'll basically look like this. And what you're going to see is I'm going to open up to the tight end side. So I open up tight end here. And as you see, everything is completely bagged on the back side of this play. Uh, the real primary thing that you are doing as a user with this defense is looking for uh, looking for shallow crossers. And, and what I mean when I say uh, shallow crossers, or not shallow crossers, I apologize, uh, crossing routes. So what I mean when I say that, you know, and again, if you wanted to do something like this, this is not a bad coverage. You're gonna be able to get three-man pressure. Uh, so you've got good sheds that are going to happen. Uh, but the beauty of this coverage is your running backs bagged. They've got all the flooding combinations to the left side. For the most part, will be taken away. And then if you see a crosser like something like this, you can go with that crosser over the middle of the field. So to me, there's so much advantage uh, to running this defense. Now, my favorite thing about this defense is let's say, for example, they uh, they go to Y option wheel just because it's I think it's the best you know flooding combination base out of any play um, but what we're going to do is we're going to try to flood uh, the trips side of the formation so we're going to man up the tight end uh, we're going to drop the three rec just for the purpose of illustration here we're going to drop the three rec back side and we're going to leave the cover two what you're going to notice on this is we're open in this way and as you'll see we don't even have to cover this route and the defense itself is going to take away the flooding combinations to the trip side so as you can see, really what we're looking for is, is there a deep crossing route from right to left? No. Then we're going to turn our attention to the left side. Is there a deep cross route from left to right? Yes. Okay, we're going to take that. Now, you might be sitting there saying, well, that's great, but what if they do something like, uh, something like this? We're going to go double crossers. We're going to block it up, um, you know, something like this. We've got a clear out route. Uh, and then uh, maybe they do some kind of little check down uh, to the back. So, you know, maybe look something like like this. So you see here just kind of a double crossing, double crossing route setup. And then let me go ahead and set my coverage up as we normally would. We're going to man up on the tight end. But in this example, you'll see that the tight end is going to uh, go into pass protection. And then on this back side here, let me just show... You see what the play art looks like here. So there you go. Okay. So you see how that works. And then uh, we've got our, whoops, my game's kind of being a little laggy. Uh, but you see here, that's the idea. So we've got our quarters. And I want you to watch this. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open, open uh, to the three receiver side. And then now we're free to kind of decide. Most of the time we're going to take the two wide receiver side crosser if we have to choose one or the other. OK, if they're running multiple crossers, it's really not that difficult uh, to guard. And I'll show you that one more time. So again, here, I'm just going to do something like this just to kind of save us a little bit of time. Uh, so you see here, we've got a clear out on the left and we have this crosser. So in this example, really what I would recommend is you kind of want to go towards where the clear out is taking you. So um, as you can see here, we kind of set this up just like so. And then we've got the you know three rec to the running back side here in this example. So uh, now what we've got is we still have our quarters coverage, as you can see. And then what we've seen here is, oh, they've got a clear out route over here. If the route side, they have a clear out, we'll take that. So what I'm trying to suggest here is you go from the two wide receiver side because it's very unlikely they're going to have a clear out on both sides if they're in trips. You go from the short side, you take the short side crosser 
to the trip side crosser. Why? If you have to pick one or the other, why do you do that? Because that clear out route is what's going to get that crosser open. So let me just for the sake of the video, uh, I want to show you uh, what it would look like if I didn't use her anybody. Okay, so we're just going to kind of set up uh, our our adjustments. Let me double check my offense here. Yeah, so you see that? Okay, so now what we're going to do is go to curl flat, we're going to streak, and then do something like this, okay? Watch what happens with these double crossers. Look at the route that gets open. You're going to see that neither one of them really get open, but this one is much more uh, susceptible to getting intercepted like that. If they were to motion somebody, now the three receiver side is to the left side and the two receiver side is to the right side. So that's kind of how I like to navigate that uh, with this cover six defense. But I'll tell you right now, this cover six is really truly one of my favorite defenses in the world uh, for defending or in this game for defending this, this package. And the reason why is because I can play a lot of chess with this defender on the back side here. I can man up onto the tight end. Obviously, I'm going to be able now to open to the tight end side uh, because there's nothing else that they can do. And then what's going to happen is because I can open over here, I can take away all this stuff. They're going to force feed that, and you've got a defender right in the area to be able to guard that. So I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about this in particular defense, or if you just want to get all of my eBooks for one low price, of $10, I would really encourage you to join the Patreon membership. For just 10 bucks a month, you're going to get instant access to every single ebook that I've already released and every ebook that I'm going to release in the future while your subscription is active. Right now, we've got about four or five ebooks that we're working on behind closed doors, but I would really, really encourage you if you want to learn this 335 odd, I'm telling you, I keep coming back to this defense defense every week and saying this is probably the best defense if you commit to learning how to leverage the cover six how to craft it how to manipulate it so that it plays like cover four palms and like cover four quarters depending on the formation so with that in mind uh, if you want to join the patreon to get access to that ebook there's a link in the description below again you can sign up for just ten dollars a month and as soon as you sign up, you're going to get immediate access to 13 ebooks, several exclusive tips, pro player breakdowns, and a lot more that I think is going to help you become a better Madden player. So thanks for watching the video. And if you want to join that Patreon membership, there is a link in the description. So head on down to the description and check out that Patreon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.